I'm working today and we're going to work through a series of video clips and the aim is to give a more practical approach to Tai Chi. We're going to focus on the Chen Man Ching form, or some people refer to it as a Yang short form. Uh, in each section, we're, probably, uh, we're looking to aim to work through each posture uh, video by video. But based on the feedback that we get from anybody who watches this, we may change that slightly. So we're going to start by looking at, myself and Ian, we're going to start by looking at uh, the posture and we'll look at what you may see as a standard practical application uh, or the one you've just been taught or the one you've seen or read in a book. Then we're going to look at the principles of Tai Chi and build it from there. So to uh, take it away a little bit from the classical Tai Chi angle, I'm just going to give you an example of a story I heard uh, teaching self-defense years ago. Um, just to give an idea of how you can think out the box. Um, Royal Marine Commandos on a training exercise being taught self-defence by their uh, Sergeant Major and Sergeant Major says to the group, uh, biggest person here, I want you to hit me, hit me with anything. And this lad goes, anything Sergeant? And he went, yes, anything. I'm confident with my skills I can beat anything you uh, throw at me. At which point uh, this rather large lad picks up the lad next to him and throws him at the Sergeant Major knocking him over. So just to prove a point. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Peters and this is uh, Ian Anderson and we train in Chen Man Ching style Tai Chi and so now we're going to look at the first in the series of DVDs, also these video clips and this one's going to focus on um, beginning and ward off left from the fore. Okay. So when we first learn, Ian faces me, uh, we see uh, beginning as this hand comes up and push. Or he grabs and comes up and push. Now this is fantastic to give you a basic shape, but the fact is, as, as Ian mentioned on his video, when, when he spoke, he talked about the example of throw anything at me. Realistically, when people are attacking each other, it's not this static posture. Um, as Ian comes into gravity, his, his whole body mass is coming in and I've got to deal with that. So if you flex the tails and ounces with four pounds, using the tails and ounces with the tails and ounces. So as he comes in, his whole body comes in. doesn't matter what my balance is, I've got to deal with this. Whereas if we take the five steps as he comes in, I angle that step, and I'm still in this position, but I've angled the step and his balance is going. As he comes in, here, we're still in this position. But he's at that point of imbalance. As far as I'm concerned, our job is to get someone to the point of imbalance or to take their route and then accelerate. And from here, wherever that may be, out across, or down. Down this position. I'm only able to do that by, if you move slowly, by being gentle and light and soft and giving him nothing to lean on for his balance. So anything he's doing is putting him at the edge of his position. Okay. And then it's more slowly. Or even just this light contact where he's just at the edge of his balance. <laughs> so uh, perhaps the terms where he comes in, hit, hit, take, balance is gone, the body's gone. Yeah. This is just this gentle here position. When he comes up, it feeds in and relaxes, ready to fire. Okay, once more. <gasps> See here, no, the whole body's coming at me. And I'm going to get headbutt in or piled in or moved. Everything's coming. And I've got to deal with all of that. Whereas if I just use position to put him at the edge of his balance, I have every opportunity to move. The same here from ward off left. Remember in ward off left, you change weight, you turn the whole ball. You move forwards, you ward off left. So the paint comes in, I change weight, I hold the ball. I move forward, you know, I break the arm, 
cause a throw here, I take it across my body, I turn, I push the person in the back, I turn, and I have what I've left, a crown arm lock. That's fantastic, but you can rightly see this hand here, it's got my face written on it. Plus, if anything only punches and stops, I'm able to take or move, but that doesn't allow the fact that this is coming, plus all of this is coming. So as I show you, place stand static and he goes, and the whole body just comes piling in. And we can say, you know, roots, and we can say balance, and we can say strength and power, and, but the fact is, it's the example I gave earlier, if anybody throws something at you, what it reminds me of is, when we're learning Tai Chi, we're learning all these different energies, spiraling energy, compressive energy, uprooting energy, but how about stumbling energy? The fact that someone can just stumble into you, overpowering your mass energy, however you want to call it, just sheer physicality of a body coming at you. And you're off balance someone, and in their position, their effort of falling, they try not to hurt themselves, they accidentally kick you in the face, they accidentally elbow you in the nuts, they accidentally stumble into you and hurt you on the way down. I know personally that uh, years and years ago when I was first training, I dislocated my knee by the fact that when I threw someone, he held on to me, and as I was stumbling, his whole body went fell on my leg and popped my knee. Now that wasn't his intention. I threw him, and he held on, so he didn't get hurt, and his body mass took me over and popped my knee out. So how about if we still use that same step? If we move it, that I want to turn, hold the ball, turn to hold the ball. How about a small step? It's a position to hold the ball. Still the same, toes up, hands down, gains and punches, he's here. Now, so his whole mass is moving, my foot's free, my body's light, I'm in contact, I'm in contact. Okay. Here, my body's free, my groin's covered, my knee's in, all the parts of me are protected. So even if he needs my knee, my leg can't shoot out because my leg is balancing in. Yeah. So it's stable as opposed to here, when I'm open, that knee take my leg and my whole body can go. Whether he intends to do it because he's been trained, or accidentally bumps into it. As soon as I turn it open, all this becomes vulnerable, regardless of what I'm doing here. So if you punch in, I turn, I'm open here, I've got his balance, but this is vulnerable. Vulnerable to his accidental bumping, vulnerable to his striking, vulnerable to his body throat. And he's, if he's been trained, all the vital areas will be struck. Yeah, if he punches, I move the position. Now my angle is more suitably angled. I'm at the back of his head. My knee, my leg, my body's all positioned. My groin's safe. My body's safe. My lower hand is in his body here. My upper hand's in his head. His arms are covered. And all I did was take a slight step. If you remember, even basic physics of resultant forces, one mass hits another mass, and the tangential force it had, the resultant force, that power, so he bumps into me, even if he just grazes me, that resultant force has got to go somewhere. Deflect a thousand pounds in four ounces. I need to ensure that I'm staying and balanced, and that position is possible, so all energy or force goes to him. But more importantly, I'm not there for him to lean on. So if he punches, a punch in effect is leaning, or a strike or a push, his whole body mass is going to hit into me. If I'm there to be hit, I'm there to be leaned on and there to stabilise him as well as me. If he punches, and there's nothing to lean on, just a light contact. It gives me no purchase. I can strike, I can knock, I can hit all the time. I'm keeping control of where his body is and his arms are. And my groin is protected, my knees protected, his foot strapped. Now to, yeah, and we'll dive. In here. This here is a strike. This here is more up feet there. He punches in. What is stable? I'm stable. This, my left arm, is in the position of ward up. So here, body and move. Here, board lights, light contact, strike, strike, strike. Break. All from this position for the world up. What ideas can you come up with?
You start to play with it. You start to work with the principles. Use four ounces to deflect a thousand pounds. Position your body. How about you trial the what if scenario? If you did a risk assessment on the posture, so from here, and your punches, and so. Do a risk assessment, just stop there. How am I vulnerable to the elbow? Yeah. How am I vulnerable to the knee? How am I vulnerable to the head? The head? As a hand? Yeah. That's right. What am I doing with this arm? What, what use is it? You know, if he closes in, it's me closed down the side, and I'm not balanced. Risk assess what's happening. This is how I this can set the space you've got. So from here, is he off balance, is he on balance? Okay. Position yourself and realise that now, what am I taking? What am I taking? What am I taking? What am I taking? Where's my body? All these parts. What's happening here? What's happening here? Just take it nice and steady as you go. So you punch it slowly in, I turn. What's happening? What could threaten me? The massive him could threaten me. Risk assess what's happening. Have some freedom of thought. Consider, consider the people who develop Tai Chi, these masters of old, spent a lifetime of study and doing what we're doing here. They trial and tested, trial and tested, and they the idea of non-resistance, of yin and yang, and balance, trial and tested. Unfortunately, when, when we're reading books, and what we first taught is a basic shape, and that shape is helpful. It's helpful to give you an, a framework, a frame of reference, but it's not practical. And Tai Chi is called Tai Chi Chi, Supreme Ultimate Boxing. It's not called that to show off, it's called that because it's tested, it's soft, it's gentle, and it's practical. Yang Yang, uh, yang the Invincible, Yang the Undefeated, however you want to translate it would not have earned that title if what he did was not practical. Joe and Ching took many challenges and some people think he was good or bad, or, but he was a little guy. And what he did was practical. Watch his videos. What we'd like you to do is play with his ideas, feed back to us, and we hope you enjoy what we're doing and learn from it, as we are. Thank you. Hopefully. Hopefully.